Up, buddy Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerdigans Inc. Today's manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Mushuku Tensei Jobless Reincarnations chapters 90 through 94. But before I get into this recap and live reaction, let me just remind you to hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because, of course, this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored. If you love what we're doing and want to help keep this operation alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more anime and manga content, whether it be news, analysis, or live reactions like this one, feel free to hit up our Cash App and PayPal. Links are in the description box below. So, well, the last time I covered Jobless Reincarnation, um, well, Rudius took in his younger sisters, and yeah... Yeah, there's, of course, some clashing going on um, between the sisters, but let's get to chapter 90, see what's in store for us today. A few days after my sisters came to stay with us, yo, good work today, leader. Yeah, you too. A freshman? Leader? Um, knock, knock, open. Oh, um, Rudia san Hello, Vice Principal uh, Genus. I have the results of the entrance exam your little sisters took the other day. Here they are. And this chapter is titled, A Maid in a Boarding School. Th this is, I'm home. Oh, welcome back, big brother. Thanks, Aisha. Your robe is wet from the snow, isn't it? Kimmy, I'll go try it by the fireplace. Dinner's all ready, too. Once you change, we can eat. Norm, dinner time. Get a um, move on. Come down. You, thanks for the meal. Of course, I'll take your empty plate. Thank you for the meal. Oh, oh could I have a second with you guys? The results from the exam you guys took the other day came out. First up, Aisha, what? yeah, well done, per uh, perfect score. All right, so I can uh, work for you and not go to school like we promised. Yes, yes. That being said, if there's um, ever anything you feel you need to learn at school, feel free to say so. If Master would be so kind as to teach me those things in great detail. What? What the hell did she learn to play like that? Master, huh? Well, I guess I decided to um, let them do what they want. Check in with Sylvie to see what work needs to be done. I'm excited to work with you, Aisha-chan. Of course, please leave it to me. And so the little sister made burst onto the scene. But in the world before my death, I guess she'd just be a domestic helper, which is true. Okay, next is Norn. You exceeded a passing grade. For taking a test immediately after traveling for a whole year, you did excellently. You really gave it your all. According to Vice Principal Genus, it isn't bad, just slightly below uh, average for her age. If that's true, then there's no need to worry. So Norm, what kind of field, uh, what field of study would you like to go into? If I'm remembering right after uh, you take general courses in your second and third years, you're supposed to be able to choose a specialty. For now, why don't you try going for a few years and trying to find something you'd like to study? Oh, right. Mom is a healing magician, too. If nothing else, it wouldn't be bad to major in, ma um, in healing magic. There aren't a lot of healing magicians around here, so you won't have trouble finding a job in the future, either. Oh, shit. She really looks like she hates my guts. At the college um, where you took the exam, or sorry, at the college where we took the exam, you showed us around a bunch of different uh, facilities. Oh, yeah, I did. That's a dorm. I was a boarding student once. I, whoa, I would like to try living in a dorm. Huh? Living in a dorm, huh? Ten-year-old girl living in a dorm. Dorms are usually double rooms. If she goes to a dorm, she may be able to make friends, which would be good. The rules make it um, a safe place to live, and Sylvie will be uh, there during the night shift. I would have liked to get a bit closer to Norm, but at this rate, the emotional gap between us will only get bigger if we don't do something about it. And that, there's another problem. Aisha, she has a naturally uh, condescending attitude towards Norm. I told her to be wary of that, but I guess she has no awareness that she even has an attitude. <laughs> I don't blame Norn. Continuing to be stuck in a house with Aisha, who looks down on her, and me, who she hates, would just be terrible for her. All right, the Norm will go live in the dorms. I'll take care of the application. But my big brother, Norm got a worse grade than me, didn't she? Aisha, even though I tried so hard, it isn't fair for only Norm to go. Ooh, she wants to go too. Aisha, I think for Norn, um, my mom is the mistress, so you're showing favoritism to Norn. Is that it? Oh! Um, mistress? Who told you that? My mom and Norn's grandma? Oh! Zena's parents' home, huh? They're aristocrats and what's more devout followers of the Millis Church. I'm sure they were pretty hard on Lila, um... Wait, Lilia and, uh, and Aisha, aside from my personal opinion, that's their culture, and I suppose I shouldn't blame them for it. This is tough. Yeah, it really sucks, but it's, 
cultures are different. That's why I like this manga so much or the series so much. And I get frustrated with, uh, with people that give the series a lot of shit because from Rudius's point of view, this is what their culture is. He doesn't want to, you know, disrespect the culture. Obviously it's different in, um, in rising of the shield hero. Yeah, it is. But here though, nah, it, it you got to respect the culture. You can't, he can't change it by himself. He's, He's not freaking, um, uh, oh my God. Rius is not Nafumi in that way, but still, even with Rising of the Shield Hero, Nafumi still respects the culture to a point. Anyways, let's keep going here. Is it because I'm, is it because I'm only ha uh, half blood related to you? Big bro too? Only Norm? I tried my hardest and I helped out around the house. I was even studying in the middle of the night. Even though she took the exam, Norm didn't do a thing. I see, I'm starting to see a little more of the background now. Sinna's family looked down on Aisha as an Ill um, illegitimate child. So Aisha started trying her hardest to never lose to Norm. Meanwhile, Norm was being compared to, um, to Aisha in terms of ability. It became a warped relationship. There isn't anyone here who will discriminate. Is it, um, if I, as their older brother, don't sincerely confront this issue, then Aisha. I don't think of Lila San as a mistress. I think of you and Norn both the same way as my sisters. I wasn't trying to be selfish with Norn. Norn hasn't really hit it off with me, and she may be able to get something out of living in the dorms. I'm only trying to make judgment uh, calls as they come up. Besides, Big Brother. Her hands are rough for her. Um, Wait, Big Brother? Her hands are rough for a kid of her age. Since the two of them have come, she's been so attentive with the housework, the whole place is spotless, not even a speck of dust. The wash clo uh, cloths are freshly clean every day for the bath. My robe is warmed up by the fireplace for me before I go out. Here's your robe, big brother. Take care. It's so warm. So she's been going through the trouble of doing all that, then hiding away to study on top of that. Big bro, Aisha. Even while I say this, you may not get it, but giving Norm permission to live in um, the dorms isn't favoritism. For example, if you said that you want to go to school after all, or that you want to try living in the dorms, I would let you. You got a perfect score on your exam. You can do as you like. But if Norm were to say that she doesn't want to go to school and she wants to be helping with the housework, I wouldn't let her because I don't think it would be good for her. I plan on recognizing your efforts. Aww. Okay. I'm planning a tentative condition. Um, I'm placing a tentative condition on you while you live in the dorms. Right. Um, come visit once every ten days. But why? Because I'm worried. Aww. All right. Norchan and Aishachan, a lot uh, must have happened in Millis. Yeah, they uh, they were away from us for so long, and now I'm sure. Um, now I'm not sure what the right thing to do is since we are uh, suddenly all together. I'm gonna give them some breathing room and see how they do. In regards to Norn's dorm life, there will be uh, times when you'll be there uh, to watch over her, so if anything comes up, I don't have to worry. I'm counting on you. Yep, leave it to me. I'll take care of Norn Chan with all I've got. All right, I hope it, uh, it all goes well. And I and so I applied for Norn to stay, in, uh, stay at the dorms. Is that right? I show someone will be joining us at school. We could have welcomed her as a special student with certain conditions. Sorry about that. That is to say, um, Norn san is also a sister of yours, Rudia san. As she takes classes here, she might, she just might become a wonderful magician. I agree. And so, a few days later, Norn's dorm life preparations were all set. I hear your roommate is going to be a fourth year. Um, she'll be your senior, so be sure to greet her properly. First impressions are important. I looked into her ahead of the time, and there doesn't seem to be anything bad. I tried to greet her myself, but she just ran away. What? Hello? What? Leader? Leader? All right, then I'll accompany you to the dorms. Listen, Norn, you have to abide by the rules of the dorm. Give your, um, give your all when studying. Even if you come into contact with demons, don't discriminate. Promise to do just those three things. I promise. Also, if you run into any trouble at school, tell me or selfie. Got it. Also, make sure to brush your teeth when you uh, wake up and before bed. Got it. And remember to bathe. Got it. Um, uh, and do your homework. Got it. Also, don't catch a cold. Rudy! Oh, I'm worried. <laughs> I'm worried about Norn's dorm life. All right, let's get to chapter 91. Um, morning already. Uh, a peaceful morning with my sister. This new life is going well? Um, right, yes. Uh, chapter 91 is titled The Leader and His Companions. Right, yesterday was Sylph's, um, Sylphie's night shift. Sometimes when Sylphie's out for her shift, Aisha comes to sleep with me. Aww. 
Me too, big brother. Are you going to favor Noor? After what happened, I tend to go easy on Aisha, but no matter how cute she is, I guess I don't feel that way about my sister at all now. Um, this is the base. Ooh, this is the basement where we found the automaton. Hmm. Ooh. <laughs> Panties. <laughs> of course. My goddess, it's been one month since Norn has moved to the dorm. She keeps her promise to come back home once every 10 days and listen to what I have to say. We still haven't reached the point where we, we are like normal siblings. I think it takes time to reach that point, but please watch, uh, watch over us. Uh, where have you been, bro, big bro? Somewhere. Here's your row. Meow. Recently, the boss has been feeling well, meow. Yeah. Oh, well, a lot has happened. Uh, by the way, recently some students have started calling me leader while greeting me. Do you know what this is about? Boss is leader now. Boss is the leader of the Six Immortals. Huh? What's with the Six Immortals thing? I don't remember becoming their leader. The Six Immortals are the most powerful beings in school, meow. They're naturally recognized as the dominant group in the school among the students, meow. Boss is strong, so he's the leader. By the way, members are me, uh, Linia, uh, um, Zenoba, Fitz, um, Adigati, Cliff, and, oh, and Prisetta, oh, God. And the leader who defeated the Demon King, it's Boss Meow. Those students who greet you are probably some punks who lost to us, Meow. If you can't defeat all the six immortals, you can't challenge Boss Meow. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God, the Saitama realness of it all. To put it simply, we don't let them get to you, Meow. Huh? What's this? What are you just? I'm not sure, but doesn't it sound like the big four? <laughs> interested in standing at the top though it's not a bad thing if i can lead those delinquent students or is it it could be bad for my image huh but what if a student's strong enough to beat that demon lord were to appear would i have to fight him i don't wanna that when i think about it i haven't seen that demon lord since we met before my house um i guess the boss isn't feeling well meow in that case here's a present from us meow Thank you very much, though uh, you shan't look inside before you're back home, meow. It took us a whole month to prepare. Open it when nobody, uh, where nobody would watch you, meow. I'll take care of it. Thank you very much. All right, meow. Speaking of, where's my kitty? My kitty should be here for this. Uh, thinking about it, Linia and um, Persena are living in the dorm, too. Should I ask them about Norn? By the way, it's about my little sister. Little sister? Ah, oh, we've seen her before, Meow. It's that girl wearing the, that main uniform. She was at the town market. She had the boss's odor, so we saw right through it. The girl wearing a maid uniform they're talking about, um, oh, they're talking about Aisha. Not her. One month ago, my um, other little sister moved to the dorm. The boss has two little sisters? Meow? She's living at the dorm? Ah, uh, yes, but it seems she hates my guts. I wonder how I could get closer to her. Well, it's a difficult subject, Meow. We can advertise the good things about Boss. Ah, oh, that's a good idea. Don't make it like she should be thankful for being my sister. How about some heartwarming episodes that uh, show my personality? Also, the other day I saw her being all by herself. It looks like she still doesn't have any friends. I guess it's hard to fit in when you're a transfer student. Y y you, you're right, Meow. Maybe she didn't, uh, just didn't have the chance to open up to others yet. Could it be you mess with my sister without knowing her? We didn't, Meow. Yes, it's the truth. Uh, we promised to boss not. Um, we promised to boss not to bully the weak. And why are you in such a hurry? It's because how old is boss's little sister who lives in the dorm? Uh, the same age as my other sister. She's ten. Is that so? Then it's all right, meow. We've done nothing wrong, meow. Isn't it? Isn't it right? Um, uh, about that briefcase. I hope you won't be angry if you don't like it, meow. It's something we prepared just for you, boss. Oh God, I'm scared. If it's a if it's for me, there's no way I would be angry. Even if it's a mouse, I would just be stunned. <laughs> because sometimes cats bring uh, presents to their owners. Um, ooh, as I thought, you never know what a demon king is thinking. As I thought, Fwah, we're no match against that roaring laughter. Fwah. <laughs> what are you laughing about? Uh, Luke Senpai, it, it said that you can call forth the demon king, um, the demon kings with a laugh like that. I see. Rudius, could you come to the student council room? Uh-oh. Did I anger them somehow? Yes. Thanks for taking time your time to be with us, Rudius-sama. No worries. Is there something wrong? Yes. The truth is, lately, the um, the faces of the new students at the girls' dormitory have been looking unwell. The results of our investigation, um, good girls with small chests tended to be the ones that were more worried the most. I see. Could it be that Norn as well? Today, one of our people clearly heard the situation while it was happening. In summary... 
what they saw Lena and Persena um, do was forcing a girl to take off their panties on the spot. Oh, no. The two of them were saying this will make Boss happy while doing it. Um, ugh, these are so cute. Let's uh, add them as well. Oh, no, it's the panty collection. Oh, no. They took every single one of them and then proceeded to put it all in one single into one single bag. Does that mean that inside the bag there were panties? Rudy Asama, um, this bag was given to me by Lina, uh, Lina and Persena this morning. They told me to open it by myself and some home, so I'm not sure what's inside, but inside there's probably that thing you mentioned. i got to make the first move. Is that so? Then for the time being, let me just confirm. This was not uh, done on your orders, was it? I'm satisfied with just Sylvie. Why would I be doing something like that? I believe in your words. Thank you very much. I thought it was strange with how rough your nocturnal activities are with Sylvie that... Um, uh, that would still look for other women would be, uh, Sylvie, what the, what, just what kind of things did, did you do to the princess? No, I didn't tell her anything. What are you saying, Ariel Sama? I was play, just playing a prank on you guys. Moreover, it's important that your newlywed life is going smoothly. This woman here might definitely be the less pure than anyone else, dude. <laughs> Anyways, this incident seems to be a result of a good intention gone wrong, so I will be the one to warn, uh, warn the two of them. And I'm leaving this in the princess's hands. Uh, give it back to the um, to give it back to the victims. Yes, certainly. Lunch break is about to end. Um, let's get going. So uh, we are not late to class. Oh, uh, this is bad. In times like this, I should be walking behind the princess. Uh, Norm, what's wrong? Classes are about to. Nice to meet you. I'm the current student uh, council's president. My name is Ariel. I'm Norm Crayrat. What's the matter, Norchon? Classes are about to begin. Uh, it's that I don't know where the third practice room is. Oh, is that so? Norn, she was left alone when they were switching classrooms. Because I thought she's being left behind by her class. Look, would you show her the way? Yes, this way, right over here. Well, then we're heading over here. Um, ah, boss, you, what are you doing now? Um, we're going to be late for class. You two, what were you two gathering, you? Don't get angry, boss. It's just what you just that you said. Shut up. It's because boss belongs to a sect that believes gods are in panties and they were a shy with great care. That's not it. Those are ones that belong to a very important person. Oh no, she overheard. Oh, your big brother is lonely. Oh, is that your sister, boss? She is. After that, the days went through without any issue. Um, issues. Norm made sure to be home once every ten days, but we just couldn't get along, not even once. Thinking back about it, I had only lived with my sisters a short time in the past. That's why I don't think it's surprising if we can't suddenly get along like regular siblings. Aisha's case is instead uh, the one that's weird. Even if we're family, it's not like we can get along because of that alone. That's something I know all too well. Mm -hmm. Furthermore, there are things that you can't forgive because, um, because they're family. You think about those days, and I'd like to apolog um, apologize for that. There's no need to rush things. It'll be great if we can slowly become closer. Oh, no. Uh, boss, oh, Halen, uh, Halen, Purr, what's wrong? There's a big problem, meow. Boss's sister has locked herself in her dormitory room, meow. Uh-oh. Eh? Yeah. Oh, God, this ain't good. Let's get to chapter 92. Ooh, this color page is beautiful. Oh, my God, it's so pretty. Pretties looks great. And from what I heard, minus um, minus the other issues going on, I, um, including a translation problem. Oh God! And in regards to the translation problem, where uh, Crunchyroll's localization removed races, I double checked Seven C's version, and they did not remove races. Nope, it's in there. So it's just a Crunchyroll problem. Oh God, that oh, that really frustrates me. Um, let's see. Ooh, we got a nice color page here. There's, uh, there's trouble, Nya, boss. Your little sister hasn't been out of her room since yesterday, Nya. It seems like her roommate tried calling out to her, but even then there was no response. I'm gonna go see. I'm gonna shut herself in? No, ooh, this is beautiful. Norn's dorm dormitory life is takes a turn for the worst? This is so pretty. I love this color page. Oh my god, it's so pretty. And this chapter is titled A Big Brother's Feeling. Oh, sorry, a big brother's feelings. Boss, is it okay not to go, Mia? Shouldn't Nora shut herself in? I is her brother. What should I do? Oh, what was it like when I shut myself in? When 
I, when I shut myself in, I didn't get out. They really make me angry. So I'm going to make them regret it. Ooh. So everyone make sure to excuse me. Hey, take some of your time. Mr. Rudy is from the middle of home. Um, may I? Among them is the, uh, the one who tormented Norn. Um, Everyone, I'm sure you're already aware uh, of this, but last um, last day, a student of this class uh, stopped coming to a school. Uh, um, to school, the student is my dear sister. I still haven't heard her version, but I think the reason she dropped out might be in your class. I don't ask much from the one who did it. Maybe they didn't mean to hurt her. Who is it? Um, I'm sure my sister had her share of faults. Who is it? Who did such a horrendous thing? Is it her or maybe that aristocrat guy over there? Please come forward, and I promise I, um, I promise I won't get angry at you. I just want you to know that you did uh, that you did hurt my sister and, apo and um, an apology. Okay, or an apology. Like I just want you to know that you did hurt my sister and apologize. The moment they come, I'll turn them to pieces. Excuse me. Um, I almost launched my stone cannon. Please. Mm, I talked a bit with Norn, and and you said some horrible things. Turn no. I knew about you, Mr. Rudius, but Norton seemed like she was normal, so I told her she was different from you, and she got really mad. Oh! Uh, the previous day, I gave Norn um, some homework to Norn, so because she has not completed a large amount of homework, you punished her in the teacher's room? I, I, I don't do that, but she did um she did some mistakes, so I told her to ask you for help with her studies. She looked like she was about to cry and told me um, she will do her best. Now that I think about think of it, I also told her I was jealous of her for having a brother like Master Rudius. So she um she made a complicated face during PE. I noticed she didn't have great stamina, so I advised her to um she should work on it by doing some running after waking up in the morning like you do. Oh, when she did well during magic class, I told her that was expected from Rudius's sister, and she looked disgusted. Oh, me too. Me too. Miss Norn's abilities is below average, when in school she was often compared to Aisha and became a little cynical because of it. You're different from Ms. Mr. Rudius. Ask your brother for help and try your best, as expected of Rudius's sister. Ah, uh, boss? It was my fault. Boss, are you okay, Nyan? Brother and sister relationship is doomed? Oh, God, that's... I understand that feeling. Oh, God, that sucks. I hate when I get, oh, I hate when I get compared to my little brother like that, too. Oh, God. But the thing is with my brother, though, unlike his ass, I did my own homework. I didn't ask for, um, uh, well, in elementary school, maybe. But I didn't ask, um, I wanted to do my homework myself. I didn't want help from um, my parents after I think it was after I got into middle, yeah, I think it was in middle school and high school. I was just like, nah, I'm going to do my own homework. But my brother, nah, my brother got coddled as hell, and that pissed me off. Uh, what am I even doing? Especially since, you know, I'm the one that has um, a severe, my mental illness is worse than my brother's. My brother has a speech uh, problem, but other than that, um, he doesn't have bipolar like I do, which really sucks. Thanks for today, you two. Um, uh, you too, Sylphie. I'm sorry I told you to leave Nornchon's dormitory matters to me, but I even recently went to her room, but no one answered at all. Um, it's not embarrassing to be doing many things for your little sister, Nya. She means making trouble, but doesn't say as precisely as that, obviously. That's right. I was a little surprised by it. Even though I should hurry up and go back to her classroom, I became an over-demanding parent. Turns out I'm just an idiot. What do you plan on doing now, Rudy? There's nothing I could do either way. It's my fault that Norn has locked herself up. That's not... Pretty, it wasn't your fault. That's neat. That's neat. Um, you need to force her to take classes or else she'll end up an idiot like Rania. <laughs> that's neat. Hey, that's neat. Uh, a person for a reason for locking oneself up. I thought I knew very well those things, but Norn, as a brother, <laughs> shame. As a brother, being someone who's not that good, if someone were to say this or that, I'm not really sure what I should do. I'm not stupid, so I wouldn't know, Nya. We're pretty good at it. These girls are stupid since they're descendants of the beast god. <laughs> the tribe leader must have sent them to university so they um, learn how to properly behave. Uh, but we know of an example, Nya. Aunt uh, Giseline, Nya. My aunt was someone who couldn't handle whatever you gave her and ended up becoming someone violent. But when she began practicing swordsmanship, she became a sword king, Nya. I see. 
she might have an unexpected talent. She doesn't have to do the same things as Aisha or I do. If you don't want to be compared, then do something that has no comparison. What, um, what that is isn't coming to mind right now, though. Maybe she doesn't have a talent for what she really wants to do, just like Zenoba. But he does have fun every day. Aww. That's right. That's fine as it is. If it brings you happiness, then it's fine. That being said, what should I say? You don't need to think that much, Nya. Give it your all um, in a few words, Nya. That's right, Nano. Well, it's true that Norn is still just 10 years old. Maybe she's just throwing a tantrum. It could be that her escape is her way of um, uh, just keeping a little distance. As a big brother, I'll do everything to support her and ensure she can live comfortably. Wouldn't it just be better if I, if um, she thought I was annoying? Rudy, um, all right, let's go see her. That's good, Nya. Just one good slap to her cheek, Nya. <laughs> Will she even listen to me? I'm the uh, cause after all. No, don't think about it. For now, what I must do is meet Norn and uh, talk about something. Will I be able to meet her? Uh, we're going in there by force, Nya. We're infiltrating Nano. Let me handle it, Nano. Um, Denny Powers activate. I love it. Me too. I'll ask Ariel Sama for her cooperation as well. If that's the case, we're doing it tonight, Nya. Sneaking the boss in the girls' dormitory plan, Nya. Hey, did you hear that? Ariel Sama's about to give a speech in the dining room. I heard, I heard. We gotta hurry up and get some seats. Um, Earthlands. Boss, let's go. Um, the train is, uh, pound to the, um, uh, the boss's sister's bed, uh, bed mew. Oh my god. I gave a little thought of what I, uh, I'd say to Norm, but I couldn't think of anything in the end. It's okay if it's, ch it's a child's tantrum. If it's something deeply rooted, I wonder if I can do anything about it. I never left the house before my brothers threw me out. If I were in the shoes of my brothers and my parents, I can't think of a way to make me get out of my room. Back then, what what did I want to hear? Go to school. Whose money do you think you're living on? Don't bother others. I can only remember things I didn't want to hear. Should I apologize? Dude, I understand that too well. Should I apologize if I'm the reason she shut herself in? But what good would that do? I don't understand how. Boss, we're here, Mew. Huh? Aww. Oh, she mad. Norn, um, big brother. Ooh, she mad as fuck. Norm, I'm sorry. Ever since you came here, it must have been hard on you, hasn't it? To be honest, I, just, I still don't know you very well. Even now I'm still lost and I don't know what, what I should do. As expected, it's no, still no good. I guess that could be a good idea. I don't have to solve everything on my own. Or sorry, let me do this. Still no good. Should I just leave it at, like this until Paul comes back? Should I retreat and ask other people for help? I guess that could be a, a good idea. I don't have to solve everything on my own. Ah. Life is made of hardships. There are people who have it worse than you. If you give up now, you'll give up all uh, your life and it'll become even worse. You won't have to go back to school right now. For now, how about we go um, eat something together? He's trying... My brother at that time said what he wanted to say. After that point, he stopped coming. Other people were still visiting me, but he never came to see me again. I leave now, maybe I won't be able to come back and Norm will stay shut in for good. I can't just walk away from this. But what should I do? This time for sure, I will overcome this pain. Dude, this is going to be therapeutic for him. Because he's realizing now that, um, Radius is realizing that, yeah, my brother, I, I was right where she was. And my brother attempted to do the same thing, but I didn't listen. When did it start? When did I start hating my brother? Um... In this chapter, chapter 94, the final chapter of this live reaction is Norn Grey Rat. As long as I can remember, he wasn't at home. Rudy is, really is amazing. When you were born, he used to help me a lot. He was more dependable than your father. You want to hear about the young master Rudius? Since um, when he was just a baby, he has been reading. He really was a special kid. Big Bro Rudius was like, he could already bam when he, um, when he was young. He's my pride as a son. When um, he'll be back, I'm sure he's going to love you and Aisha. Everyone was praising him, that big brother I didn't know. What kind of person was he? Why? Why? The first time I met him, um, he was beating father up. I learned after that there was a lot of circumstances. I've been told they patched things up after that, but I hated this brother I just met. Aww. After he departed, the maid and my little sister that were missing came back home. Wylia, Aisha, I'm glad you're safe. It's all thanks to Master Rudius. He even made arrangements for us to get here. Dad, you know Big Bro was so cool and amazing. Is that so? He came to visit us in that castle. Really? 
Everyone praised him, so I hated him more and more. Zenith family, the Latria house, um, not like this, start over again. Keep your manners when praying. Again, wrong again. How many times do I have to tell you for you to understand? As a lady of the Latria house, you have to follow the etiquette and not embarrass yourself. Really, this adventure of a son-in-law made my blood become muddy. Every time I was making a mistake, grandmother was saying bad things about mother and father. Eventually, I started to hate her too. I don't blame her. I do not. Miss Norn, I came to pick you up. Nice to meet you, esteemed grandmother. Aisha, um, Aisha, I'm Aisha Grayrat. Grayrat. I don't remember being the grandmother of an illegitimate child. Excuse her. Next time I'll have uh, servants from um, the Latria house to come pick her up. You don't have to come anymore. Understood. Let's go home. At Milchion School? That's amazing, Aisha. To be able to make those calculations at such a young age, you must be a genius. <laughs> I didn't like my little sister because she was always competing with me. She, she surpassed me on everything and looked down on me because of her I developed an inferiority complex. That's understandable. Except for father, I was surrounded by people I hated. We'll go live with big brother? Thanks to Roxy, we learned the location of your mother, but this is a dangerous place. Well, it's not that dangerous, but it's not a place you would bring a child. The Latria house offered me to, t um, to take you, but not in a million years, as I thought. So you and Aisha will go live with Rubius. Oh, I want to go see Mother, too. Um, Norn, please, Father, don't leave me. I don't want to go live with that jerk of a brother. Norn. Oh. Huh, what's wrong with that kid? You made a mess on my clothes. I'm sorry. Um, you think being sorry will clean them up? Where are your parents? Sorry, I'm sorry. Hey, this kid said she was sorry. Get your hands off her. Um, Richard? Had he not shown up and offered to escort us to Big Brother's place, I would have continued uh, to bother my father. What is it? You can't sleep? Aw. During the journey, he was always comforting me. He gently caressed my head. I love that hand. When I couldn't sleep, he told me tales of old about his son and uh, the spelled race. About my brother. Rudy's is amazing. I can't wait to see him again. The brother I know and the one everyone know are different people. Uh, it must be from then that I started to be afraid of him. But that brother I saw with my own two eyes beating my father up. Even if um, brother uh, were laughing, if he didn't like me, maybe he'll beat me up too. Norn? What is it? Are you cold? Norn? And then when we finally arrived at his home, my brother was drunk and had a woman at his side. Even if he said to my father to not hook up, um, uh, to not hook women up and start beating him because of this, he's doing it himself. The day after our arrival, um, Richard departed. I thought we'd always be together. Um, this woman who was at my brother's side was his wife. I suppose I'm supposed to have met her a long time ago, but she was different from my memories. She's kind, but she's not an ally. I don't have any allies here. I spent my time hiding, trying not to get angry and to avoid being compared. Um, so, girls, as father told, you will attend the academy. Must I? I don't have anything to learn from them, huh? If Aisha doesn't attend the academy, I won't be compared to her. If this happens, I can finally give it my all. Okay, let's do this then. I'll have you take the entrance exam, then I'll decide uh, based on your results. Exam? It's impossible for me. Don't worry, even if your score is low, you could still attend the academy as long as you pay for it. If that's the case, I don't want to enroll. Hey, how are you talking? I'm talking to Big Brother. Fighting, fighting. Both of you, stop. What? He'll beat me? I'm sorry I trust my words poorly. The Academy is scary. Am I supposed to live in constant fear of him beating me up from now on? Save me, Father Richard. A few days later, um, girls, I got your test results. Aisha, you got a perfect score. As promised, you don't need to attend the Academy. Yay! Norn, you got a passing score. I'm proud of you. So what field would you like to study? I don't know everything about it, but I, I want to live in the dorm. I came prepared. I thought of asking for living in the dorm the day he, uh, the results came. Huh? If I live there, I won't have to see my brother's face, and I won't be compared to Aisha. I could live freely and without fear of anything. But this is quite the selfish demand. Maybe I'll get beaten up for this. Okay, you can go live in the dorm if that's what you want. Um, I'll do the papers. Huh? Why, big bro? Um, let's see. Um, why is he not angry? He's not angry. Why? Now that I think about it, he hasn't been angry ever since then. There are many things I don't know about him. Could it be that maybe my brother isn't really interested in me? Maybe um, it's become troublesome uh, to take care of a good-for-nothing, uh, good-for-nothing, not even cute little sister. Aww. Even though it's convenient, why? Why am I feeling like this? Welcome to the dormitory, Norn-chan. I'm your roommate, Melissa. Nice to meet you. Ooh, she's cute. 
nice to meet you as well. Everything was new and fresh in this dormitory lifestyle. I could live a carefree life here. My heart danced with joy. School life has begun. Classes are difficult, especially the ones about magic. If her um, marks were bad, she could be ordered to get back home. I must do my best. Norchan, um, let's go to the dining room. Uh, yes. How school? The campus is um, very large. I got lost all the time when, um, whenever we have a mobile classroom. Ah, uh, that's right. Uh, Rinya-san, Persen um, san good evening. Um, hey, Nya, sup, Nano? Be careful, Norchan. It's better not to get involved with those two. Eh? The, uh, eh, those two are famous delinquents. Ah, uh, but Norchan, you're Rudy is the son's little sister, so you should be all right. What do you mean by that? Rudy is son is called the leader of the school, and those two obey, um, obey him. Do you mean my brother's become a delinquent as well? Uh, yes, there's rumors uh, those two are gathering up panties. Pan so when my father was giving it his all, my brother was doing what? He's the worst. But Rudy is son is just so powerful that he's just kind of feared. Your big brother doesn't get violent with regular students, and um, he apparently tells other delinquents to not get violent with weak people. Thanks to that, have all those guys have become more peaceful, and the university itself is way more, uh, more calm nowadays. Your big brother is amazing, you know. Hey, hey, Norchon, it's about the spell. Could you tell me um, what the log um, what's the logic? And sorry, spells are my weak point. I see you're different from your brother. What do you mean, uh, Norchon? Hornsong, um, regarding this um, assignment, please try to follow your brother's example and put in some extra work. We, I've talked um, with your big brother before. How about um, working out like your big brother? Rudia's son is amazing. Um, you're different from your brother, right? As expected of Rudia's son. Um, I'm fat. Norchon, what's wrong? Are you feeling unwell? Is anything worrying you? Want me to lend an ear? Should I call your big brother? It's nothing, so leave me alone. I'll go to the dining room, okay? Aww. Even at university, I get compared. I don't know what he's thinking. It's scary. I hate it. A big brother that looks down on me, but treats me like a little sister. A uh, brother who's better at everything. Will I continue suffering an inferiority complex for the rest of my life? What should I do? Aww. One day I skipped class. I wonder if my brother found out he might get angry this time. I'll surely get beaten up. Even if I was just able to get into the dormitory, I've also broken my promise to give it all on my studies. I gotta apologize to my brother for breaking the promise, but I can't move at all. My father and brother and my brother, I wonder how they reconciled back then. Since I said something really bad to your big brother who was or um big brother was going through a difficult time, I will apologize to him. But you know, Norn. Huh? Why is he here? Norn, big brother. Norn, I'm sorry since you came here. It's been tough, hasn't it? I don't really know much about you. I didn't really know what to do with this whole situation. It doesn't seem to be an illusion. It's like father. At times like this, father would hug me without thinking about it. Uh, but you know, Norn, if I can't make up with your bro big brother, what will I do? Oh, look at Rodius. Oh, I see he can't come any closer. He's scared of being rejected by me. Oh. My brother will surely nev um, never, ever hit me. Yeah. Aww. Uh, I'm sure that with my father, he surely won't. I have to forgive uh, my uh, my brother. I'm sorry. My brother, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Brother's hands are warm. His chest is wide and hard. And he really smells like father. A snowy relationship melts. God, this was good. Like, I'm so glad I'm caught up with um, Jobless Reincarnation. This needed to happen. But <sighs> let me know your thoughts in the comments section below what you guys thought of these chapters. Um, and light novel readers, I want to know um, what you guys think of how the manga is handling this, um, ha handling this portion of the arc. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigan Zinc. Love what we're doing and want to help keep this operation alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more um, uh, Mushuko Tensei content. A few ways you could do that. Donate to our cash app, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off our Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow us on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend us on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.